The basic rule of archaeology is the more you dig, the more you'll find. That isn't always true, though, because digging isn't always enough. Sometimes you have to climb, crawl, scrub, and tunnel. All the effort's worth it in the end, though, because as long as you put the work in and luck is on your side, you might well end up discovering something amazing, like the finds you're about to see in this video. Our first recent discovery is something worth writing home about. In fact, you could literally use it to write home, because it's a writing set. The ancient set, which consists of a dish, an amphora inkwell, and a bone dip pen, was found in Istanbul, Turkey in September 2022. With an estimated age of 1600 years, it's the oldest complete writing set ever to be found anywhere in the world. The discovery was made during a planned dig at Bethonia Archaeological Site in Istanbul's, Istanbul's, in Istanbul's Kusuk Sekmese suburb which has proven to be a rich hunting ground for archaeologists in recent years. Scientific analysis of the bone dip pen has revealed the presence of both red and black ink, which indicates that the set belonged to somebody important. Back in the days of the Eastern Roman Empire, red ink was reserved for only use by state officials. The set is both tiny and delicate, so it's nothing short of remarkable that it survived buried in the ground for so many years. It'll be carefully preserved and studied before going on display at a nearby museum. It's unlikely that you'll find a Viking sword in your garden, but if such a thing is likely to happen anywhere in the world, it'd happen in Norway. In August 2022, such a sword was discovered by Heidi Viki Groningsater in Mor Og Romsdal, which is in western Norway. She was tending to her garden when she spotted what she thought was a broken piece of an old rusty plow. Her husband convinced her it might be something more valuable, so she uploaded photographs of her discovery to a local archaeology group's Facebook page. Bjorn Ringstad, who runs the page, immediately realized that Heidi's plow was actually a Viking sword. He specifically believes it's a product of the early Viking Age, which would mean it was made somewhere between the 8th and 10th centuries. Tantalizingly, there may yet be more to come from this discovery. According to Bjorn, it's unlikely that a sword like this would have been buried without its owner. That means there's probably a Viking grave nearby. However, it's unlikely that Heidi and her husband will be willing to dig out the foundations of their home in the hope of finding it. Now we have a remarkable find that happened in Tenosique, Mexico in August 2022. There, archaeologists have found a set of massive Olmec monuments, including a pair of carved limestone reliefs. The reliefs depict Olmec rulers in a ritual contortionist pose, which is said to have reduced oxygen levels in the brain and thereby induce a trance-like state. The Olmec believed this to be a divine process. Such depictions are extremely rare discoveries, so archaeologists in the country are excited. Each of the reliefs is large, around 5 feet in diameter, and also depict large faces wearing diadems and mirrors with Olmec crosses in their center. It's very hard to say how old these ancient works of art are, but this part of Tenosique, close to the Usamacinta River, was an important Olmec population center during the Olmec formative period of around 2,900 years ago. Experts in ancient South American art say that the style of the reliefs may have been influenced by the early Maya, but that's a controversial claim for which there isn't yet enough evidence to support it. The Mayans eventually became dominant in this part of the country around 2,500 years ago. Archaeologists have been digging at the site of Ayanis Castle in Turkey for more than 30 years. During that time, they've rarely found anything more significant or unique than the ornamental bronze wall plaque that was found there in September 2022. The castle is a hot spot for treasure hunters because it was built for the Eurasian King Rusa II, who ruled his territories from there between the years 680 and 693 BCE. The bronze plaque is likely to have been chosen personally by the king or a member of the royal family and would have hung on the wall as a decoration. Fragments of similar plates have been found elsewhere in and around the ruins of the castle, but this is the only one that's ever come out of the ground in one piece. 
The discovery of the bronze plate came as archaeologists identified and unearthed four new interconnected rooms buried into the hillside that the castle was once perched atop. And there's still plenty of work to be done inside those rooms. Experts say there's so much digging to be done at Ayanis Castle that there will still be archaeologists there in another 30 years. Hundreds of people walk through the forests of Chapultepec in Mexico every day. Until September 2022, none of those people realized they were trampling all over history. A recent archaeological survey has revealed the presence of the oldest artifacts ever discovered in the Mexican basin, buried just a few inches beneath the forest floor. This gold mine of an archaeological layer includes utensils, tools, and curious depictions of otherworldly figures. Experts believe they've been buried in the forest for around 3,000 years. Unfortunately, the fact that so many millions of people have walked through the forest in the years since is probably the reason that the artifacts are smashed into so many pieces. However, there are exceptions to that. Some of the clay vessels appear to have been burned deliberately and then broken, perhaps as part of an ancient ritual. There's so much material here that archaeologists and historians have begun to wonder whether there was a formal settlement in the forest 3,000 years ago, but thus far they haven't been able to identify the remains of any buildings. Some human habits never change, and the urge to draw large depictions of the male sexual organ on any malleable surface is one of them. In September 2022, archaeologists conducting a survey in the Cordoba municipality of Nueva Cartaya, Spain, confirmed the discovery of an enormous palace carving dating back to the country's Roman period. Such discoveries are relatively common in former Roman territories as the Romans saw the phallus as the ultimate symbol of male strength. Many Roman soldiers wore small phallus necklaces when they went into battle in the hope that it would keep them safe. Phalli appear in many ancient Roman mosaics, sculptures, frescoes, and pendants. As an example, no fewer than 59 phallus carvings can be seen in Hadrian's Wall in England. This newly discovered phallus in Spain is in a fortified enclosure that was first erected, if you'll pardon the pun, when Spain began its conquest of the region in the year 206 BCE. It's one of the largest carvings of its kind ever found in Spain. You know what they say about phallus carvings? The bigger the carving, the more luck they'll bring. At the risk of stating the obvious, there would be no Silk Road without silk. It was the Yangshao culture of ancient China that first learned how to rear silkworms to produce raw silk more than 5,000 years ago. The ability to make and sell silk transformed their culture, and eventually the entire region so silkworms must have been incredibly important to them. That probably explains why someone decided to make this beautiful stone silkworm chrysalis around 5,200 years ago. The one-of-a-kind artifact was found in the Shaanxi province of northern China in June 2022. The location where the carving was found has been described by experts as a semi-crypt house. Dating stone artifacts is almost impossible but the age of 5,200 years has been determined based on fragments of pottery that surrounded the object when it was found. It's one of over 1,600 artifacts that were found as part of the same dig, including copperware, stone tools, jadeware, shellfish, and stove sites. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to describe what happened in this part of the world 5,000 years ago as a silk revolution, and this chrysalis is a testament to it. Our next artifact isn't so much a new discovery as it's one that's recently been returned home. It's this stunning relic known as Precious Blood of Christ which was stolen from Fecamp Abbey Church in Normandy, France in June 2022. It's one of the Catholic Church's most sacred relics and is said by the faithful to contain the blood of Jesus Christ, collected when he was crucified 2,000 years ago. Police in France were never able to determine who stole the sacred object, but it was spontaneously returned two months after it was stolen. The thief or thieves left the precious blood of Christ on the doorstep of the Dutch art detective Arthur Brand. 
Less than 10% of stolen art is ever recovered, so this artifact has defied the odds. We'll never know why the thieves gave it back, but it's possible that they didn't know how famous the object was until they stole it, after which they'd quickly have realized they'd never be able to sell it without being caught. On the other hand, perhaps the idea of stealing the blood of Christ was a little too much for them to deal with in the cold light of day. We've already had one Viking discovery in this video, but there's no harm in having another. It's a solid gold ring that had somehow been mistaken for a piece of cheap costume jewelry until it was rediscovered in July 2022. The ring was bought as part of a box of jewelry in an online auction by Mary Ingelin Hackestead of Norway, who knows a thing or two about history and quickly realized that one of the rings in the box was unlike all the others. It's heavy, polished, and obviously made from real gold. Jewelry was worn as a symbol of status in Viking society. Based on the size and weight of this ring, it's likely to have been worn by an important man, perhaps even a Viking chief. Silver jewelry was more common than gold jewelry, even among affluent Vikings, because gold was relatively scarce. So very few people wore it, and those who did only tended to do so on special occasions. Unfortunately, the fact that the ring found its way into a box of cheap jewelry means we'll never be able to find out where it came from. Without that information, it's hard to say how old it is. We're headed back to Turkey now, where a late Neolithic era seal was discovered during excavations at Damuztep Mound in Kahara Manmaris Province, Turkey in the summer of 2022. The mound is at the heart of an ancient settlement that was first founded around 9,000 years ago. It's given up hundreds of artifacts in the past, but this one's unusual. It's a thread hole button seal made from serpentine and depicts two animal heads with horns facing each other. There's an ongoing discussion among historians about whether the animals are supposed to be domestic cattle or water buffalo, and it may never be possible to reach a conclusion on that point. However, the symbol was clearly very important to the people who lived here. It appears on more than 130 of the artifacts that have been recovered from Demuztep Mound since 1995, including pottery and stamps. If we interpret the drawings as water buffalo, it might serve as evidence that the animals were domesticated in the eastern Mediterranean thousands of years ago. But more evidence is required to support that idea. Research is ongoing. Now we have a recent discovery from Slovakia. There, at an undisclosed archaeological dig site in the west of the country in July 2022, archaeologists discovered an extremely rare axe head that dates back to the early Bronze Age. The discovery was made by a team from the Monuments Board of Ternava. While the wooden handle of the axe rotted away centuries ago, the head is in remarkably good condition for an artifact that's thought to be close to 4,000 years old. It's just over 4 inches long and has an enlarged fan-shaped cutting edge with a point at the other end. What's so remarkable about it is the fact that it so closely resembles the axes we still use today. Experts briefly pondered the question of whether it might have been designed as a hand axe without a handle, but the presence of barely visible grooves on the sides of the artifact confirmed that it was once hafted to a handle. The type of metal it's made from has not yet been identified, but it's clearly the product of skilled hands. Let's have one more Viking discovery before we finish. Archaeologists in Sweden got very excited in August 2022 when a 1,200-year-old brooch was found in a grave in the mountains. The style of both the brooch and the burial is enough to make archaeologists and historians believe that this is the grave of a female Viking. If so, it's the first one ever to be found in Sweden's mountainous regions. The brooch was found by Eskel Nystrom, a mountain hiker who was camping in the region and made the discovery while setting up his tent for the night. He took it to the Museum of Jotli in Ostersund, after which experts from the museum returned to the site of the discovery and found burned bones buried in the ground, indicating a cremation had taken place there. 
campfire was central to many of the burial rituals carried out by the Vikings, thus pointing to the idea that this was a Viking burial. A second oval brooch was found at the same time as the bones, however there are no monuments, cairns, or burial mounds at the site. Whoever this woman was, she appears to have been buried in a hurry. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.